This old guy DIY video has to do with what you may find if you try to switch the unloader from an old Anovi Reverberi pump, so you see that one, to a new pump. So this old pump came off of a 20 year old unit. I saw a couple years ago that water was running out of the bottom of this housing. I wasn't familiar with how the things worked. I never checked the oil. Had I checked the oil and drained the water that had intruded, I suspect it would still be going. But since I didn't, this thing failed dramatically. That's what it looks like on the inside now. So I went online to find a new pump. And initially, I talked to my local guy in Jackson, Michigan, and he said the pump alone, his price was $1,300, so obviously mine was going to be more. And I Googled for a while, and on about the fourth page, I found Mega Depot, and they had this pump for $500 shipped to the house. So I bought it there. Looking at them, you can see 20 years ago, this manifold was made of brass. Today, it appears to be cast aluminum. And they wanted 120 bucks for the unloader. So my intent was to take the old one off and just move it over. But when I went to take it off, this is what I found. And when I read online, they say this steel unit oftentimes rusts out just like this one did. And these are the pieces that came out of there. So I went online, found the unit that I have. And I found the kit that I need is this one, number 2119, and I bought it. This is what the new unloader assembly looks like. So since I had it off, I just sprayed WD-40 down into different holes and let WD-40 run out of it all over, basically. And now I'll use these bolts from this 2119 mounting kit and mount the unloader to this new pump. The kit comes with these four washers and no instructions, so I believe the O-ring is going to go in the groove here. This washer will go between the unloader and the pump body, and on the other side I'm going to put the larger washer between the unloader and the pump body, and the smaller one up near the head of the bolt, so it looks like that's the size of the one that's on there right now. And this is the assembled unloader ready to be installed. So there's an O-ring on this end of that brass one. And then I have one washer here. The smaller of the two washers is out near the head of the bolt. The larger of the two washers is here where it will mate with this housing. And now it's just a matter of putting the two pieces together and torquing it down. And the big one takes a 24 millimeter. The little guy is a 17. Those are the sockets. Well, one other point, since this is a very expensive high output unit, when it came to buying this replacement part, these two bolts, I went to eBay and I bought the factory original AR brand. I didn't want to screw around with the Chinese $15 version rather than paying $30 for these. And my hope is if I take care of it and this time I actually ensure that there's no water intrusion, this thing will be running long after I'm gone. I hope this little video helped you and have a good day.